What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have some Star Wars news, but before we do get into it, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell, so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I have a membership and a merch program, and without further ado, let's get into today's episode. So recently, in an interview with SFX Magazine, Star Wars producer Ryan Roberts indicated that season two of The Acolyte could already be in the works, indicating that possible story ideas for a potential second season are already being passed around, Roberts said, and this is what he actually said. We've got to get back into the writer's room for season two to see where we're at we have some initial thoughts about what we want to do but in terms of what the story will ultimately wrap up that hasn't been quite nailed down yet although season one of the acolyte won't premiere for another few weeks its reception is yet to be revealed now this development is a very exciting one both for the upcoming show and the larger star wars franchise because it can really talk about everything that's going on during this time now in the same interview where ryan roberts highlighted thoughts about season two simon emmanuel another Star Wars producer revealed that the Acolyte will have a clear ending for season one, but will also make room for the show to continue. So that's another good update. Now, these updates from both Roberts and Emmanuel are promising for the Acolyte and what the show can do going forward. And it gives a little bit of sense of the tremendous number of stories that the Acolyte could potentially open. Now, as a brand new Star Wars era to be explored on screen, the Acolyte will be introducing innumerable characters with them and unique stories to be added on to now moreover while some of the show's plot points are driven by the prequel trilogy there's undoubtedly much more to explore during this high republic era that we do have now now for one alongside the jedi being in their golden era the republic was experiencing a peak period as well now this means that a number of potential stories could be explored including prominent senators at the time or perhaps some groundwork being laid for palpatine's eventual rise to power in addition it's clear that that just from the teaser and trailers alone that there is an evil growing and surely whatever from that evil it takes it will open up a door for fascinating new stories and i'm hoping like i've talked about here i know it's been very thrown around is i'm hoping we see some Darth tenebris or at least Darth plagueis the wise because again we know that that is a part of george lucas's canon and just our canon as well in the star wars franchise and hopefully disney can live up to that because again that's a story that could definitely be told and i would love to see like a little prequel with Plagueis and Palpatine and how everything was orchestrated until we get up until The Phantom Menace. But guys, comment down below what are your thoughts and theories on today's video. For more Star Wars content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. And make sure to comment down below and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.